Hi everyone. Uh, first, I want to tell you I don't know if you saw it, but I changed my name from Pata.s. to Patscrafty Haven. I was looking for a new name for a long time, and then one of my sweet friends suggested me this one, and I really like it. So from now on, it's Patscrafty Haven. And I want to dedicate this uh, happy mail to uh, Ruby. She's Little Books here on YouTube. And if you don't know Ruby, please hop over to her channel. She does amazing work. I just love the way she works with colors and how she combines the colors and all those different papers and textures and fabric and yarn. It, it's just incredible. Just so, so super excited when I received this stunning prize package, which is more than she showed in her video. So I'm going to start first with this one. Um, so it came all wrapped in this uh, beautiful piece of yarn, which I definitely will keep because I really like the idea how she did on this, like this pocket card here. Oh, sorry. It's upside down. How she used the yarn here alongside pom pom trin. Look how beautiful these colors are, like pink and purple and then the soft minty green. I think she used, I'm not sure, but I think these are Stamperia papers. And there's like a seam winding here, a roll rose. There's some very nice thin layered uh, trim here and teeny tiny pearl trim. At the bottom there's a layering of uh, these beautiful laces. And so this is the back. Even the back, it's nicely finished with yarn and fabric. And, and I know she also works regularly with sari ribbon. Look how this one's finished off. Look, isn't it amazing how she combines all these beautiful colors? And inside the pocket, there's a card, which I already did read off camera, Ruby. So thank you so very much. And of course, I just love it, love, love, love it. And it's... Oops, there's something else inside. Oop. Oh, look how beautiful this pocket is. And it's it's really sturdy. There's this, these like bag toppers, uh, bag, card bag toppers. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at this. I love these. Oh, they, I'm going to definitely use these on a card. Gonna tuck this back in. Just, just a beautiful way to present the card, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna dig in. And then there's also oh, one of her beautiful, amazing, uh, like shabby flowers. Don't know how she does it, but. Oh, it's, absolutely gorgeous now that I have one maybe I can try to make one of my own but I doubt it <laughs> just love the colors love this now I'm normally not a green fan but I do love these greens they are gorgeous I should make this a shabby flowers different textures crochet pieces of crochets doily Sorry ribbon, I think. Then this beautiful flower fabric. I'll link definitely her channel below. You really have to check her out. She's amazing. I know I'm falling into repetition, but it truly is. And she's such a generous lady too. I feel so blessed to have one of her pieces of art in in my hands right now. So again, it is wrapped and again, like a beautiful cross grain ribbon. And everything smells just divine. Ruby, how do, do you do this? It just smells so, so wonderful. I think these are, oh yes, these are gorgeous. These gorgeous head pins of hers. Okay, I'm gonna take them slowly out. I'm doing gonna say on this beautiful pink. I'm doing gonna say this beautiful pink. 
tissue paper. And these are her teapot stick pins. There's a teapot here, there's uh, beautiful pearls, rondelles. There's a square rondelle. Love the beads that she used. Look at this bead here. And look at the size of this pin. It's huge. And she protected the tip nicely over, I think, with with a with tea so that it you won't be able to prick your finger. Now this is one. This is another gorgeous pin here. I hope you can see it. Love the green colors. Green bluish colors. It's I think might be a Swarovski crystal. And Okay, there's another package and that one is and I think that's a great idea. I think this is like cheesecloth that she hand dyed. But look at this color. Oh, definitely save this one. Look how beautiful. I can't find cheesecloth here, so what I use mostly mostly use is actually a bandage. I found recently in a thrift store some old from just old bandages that are made from the same material. But look how beautiful. Oh, I just love this smell. And I think these are, would be nice to use on my cards as well. So this is another piece and she rolled it all up. So once rolled out, it's just a nice big piece to use on my projects as well so thank you for putting all these extras in ruby i really appreciate it oops not done yet there's this beautiful soft pink ribbon I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just amazed. Oh. oh my god, I never seen one like this. <gasps> Look at this. And it's heavy. It's so heavy and it's gorgeous. Look, I'm gonna see show you one by one the beads. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, I love it. How do you do it? Did you do the top? It's a round bead. She surrounded it. Oh, excuse me. With flowers. There's like a piece of tool here. Oh, look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I really do love this. Oh my god. Oh, Ruby, thank you so very much. Makes me think like those fairy wand, a huge fairy wand. And I do love fairies because I'm collecting right now some several fairy stamps. Oh my god, I love, I love it. Oh my gosh. I just can't believe that you sent me so much. And then there's even more. And I even got to the original price package yet. Oh my god. Oh, look at this. And it's... Look, there's actually more than two meters here. So I more or less know that this is one, two. There's about three meters of this beautiful fabric ribbon. I'm going to roll it up so that it stays nicely. Oh my god, Ruby. And the way you presented it all is just a gift on its own. The beautiful presentation. You really put a lot of work and love in your project. And then there's another big piece of lace around here. Look at this. 
this must be expensive lace. Such broad lace here in Belgium is so super expensive. Look at this, and it looks so vintagey. And I love this color. It's like a, how can I say, like a, a dark peach color. And there's the other piece, which is also definitely about a yard or meter or a meter. Oh my God, Ruby, thank you so much. Okay, now let's open this. Okay, take this slowly up. Oh, there's even more in here. She gives me these beautiful Italian roll roses, which I've never seen before. This brand, it's gorgeous. Oh, wow! And there's oh, look at this image, it's from Stamperia, it's the beautiful rice paper from Stamperia Carta di Riso. Um, look at this image. It's absolutely stunning. I must find a canvas. A canvas to decoupage this on. And look for a beautiful tutorial on how to um, canvas this on. And then maybe add some handmade flowers in their hair or, or here. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Some texture paste. Oh my god, Ruby, you spoiled me. Girl, I would have done enough the, the, the things you showed in the video. I think these are from, or these, these are from the Tilda Sewing team. Oh my God! Thank you. And these are Stamperia again. Oh my God! Love these. I'm gonna look for a die that fits around here so I can crochet around these. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm holding them upside down. Oh, look how beautiful this will be with like a cream colored crochet yarn. Thank you so very much, Ruby, and also for the beautiful tilled up papers. I had this one, but I used it all up, so now I, I can reuse it and eventually scan this one in. Thank you so very much. Okay, now I'm going to open another extra package with this that's been wrapped with this gorgeous lace here. And I'm sorry for the video, but I really want to give justice to this gorgeous package. Look at these beautiful colors in this. I think she finds and finds the most beautiful materials to work with. The only place where I can find every now and then some stuff is here on our flea markets. And even then, it can be rather expensive. Our thrift stores really suck for these kind of material. And I'm sorry, but I really am. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting really emotional here. Oh my god, Ruby. Oh, really? I love this. Time out. Time out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my camera crew needed a little time out, um, Ruby. And <laughs> meanwhile, I could get my group together because incredible. Look at these colors, and I know how much work you, you put in these in in dyeing all these pieces of cheesecloth. Oh my God, this is like a little treasure. Look at these colors. Oh. 
What did you use to tie these? Because the colors are so beautiful. And look how much. There's this beautiful like orangey brown, which would be nice for maybe full projects. I tell you, this lady is amazing where colors are concerned. Oh, I definitely gonna treasure these. Look at this, there's a bunch here. Incredible. I can't say thank you enough. And look, I love this color here. And look how everything runs over in, in different shadings that you can combine. Oh my god, Ruby. Wow. Look at this, this is an absolutely gorgeous color. There's then this gorgeous pink here. And this is beautiful warm, like pumpkin color. And then there's a bunch of, of creams and soft beige ones. Oh my God, girl, wow. And then I think I'm finally getting to the original price package. Ruby, you truly spoiled me. And I hope you're sitting down because this is an absolutely another gorgeous piece of ribbon. Oh, I'm so longing to get my craft room so I can really show these gorgeous pieces. And I just love how she wrapped it all. Move this one out. Okay, so I think this is a price. This is an original price package uh, with the canvas. Now for the I'm gonna pull the canvas out so that you. Oops, there's more in here than just the canvas. So she made created this stunning pouch. Look at how she layers all these laces. There's two ruffle laces. There's like. Um, these are like velvety ribbons and she stitched them by machine uh, she stitches a lot by machine and by hand isn't this just stunning oh I love this pouch I just won't be able to describe what she did so definitely go and go to her channel I hope I'm showing everything. Look at this. And flat back pearls and just those all these colors. And look at the bottom. I'm sure here. There's layers and layers of lace. Here. Do like the small pom pom trim. Then look at the back. There's this gigantic piece. I think it's like a curtain lace. And everything is nicely finished. Isn't this just... I'm going to let it soak in. Wowzers. Okay. There's still more in here. Oh my god, look at this. This is gorgeous. Oh my god. And look at this beautiful, again, these beautiful colors. Oh, Ruby, you're far too generous. This beautiful cameo. And it's wrapped. Oops. Oh, yay. Pump on trim. And then the beautiful soft blue. And then there's this beautiful soft pink fabric which is definitely eventually a nice size to create like a pouch after it's been padded okay. 
And now, last, last but definitely not least, the beautiful, gorgeous canvas that she made. Look at this. The way she decoupages is just stunning. And she made it look like those um, gypsy tambourines, or how you call them, what the gypsies have. And I think she used here also like a, a napkin or rice paper. And there's other, there's dimension here. Are these dried flowers or did you paint these on? Because I really feel like a dimension. I will have to relook at the video. And it's a really heavy canvas. I think she made this one her, either herself on a wood piece. Isn't this just stunning? I just love it. Oh my god. Look, yes, I have a table jam packed with goodies. Ruby. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you ever so much. Everything will be definitely treasured. And again, please, please, please hop over to her channel. Show you, show her crafty love. She is one amazing crafter, as you can see. And thank you all for watching and commenting. Bye!